Hi guys, this video is about our exclusion splines rollout in Scatter. Um, so like any other Scatter, uh, exclusion splines are a necessary sort of thing. Um, but one thing that we wanted to add to ours, because we wanted to make everything a little animatable, is um, once you've added your exclusion spline, and right now I have this exclusion spline going along the riverbed, um, I want a way that I can actually animate this without any of this stuff sort of popping around. So if I was to say select these, and let me just go up to about keyframe 15, and slowly move these out here, and then let's turn off my keyframes. I'm gonna jump back to zero. Now, if you see, as I scrub through this timeline, you can see that uh, the, the Anna, it's working with um, per frame doing the exclusion splines. But also what you don't get in here is you don't get popping of geometry. Your, geom your trees do not change depending on, um, you know, you're not gonna get a reseed as this animates in. So, um, which is useful if you need to like um, call out part of a forest or get rid of something and you don't want all your geometry popping around. So um, that is about it. There's not a lot to say about exclusion spines. Um, simply when you go in, throw them on, you need to just enable them and you can add as many exclusion spines to the list as you want. Thanks a lot, guys. See you.